Automation and Intelligence for the Future. This mm -hmm. is AI Expo Africa, and we're here speaking to the founder of Mineral Health AI Labs. Yes. All the way from Ghana. Yes. Yeah. So Darlington, Chicago. It's great to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and you're one of our speakers, right? Yes. yes. What will you be speaking on? So yeah, I'll be talking about applying artificial intelligence and data science to healthcare. Mainly the goal is we want to democratize quality healthcare in Africa. And some of these exponential advanced technologies are perfect for us to achieve that goal. We could give most Africans uh, adequate and quality healthcare if we use this technology. Are you focused on particular diseases or, or how are you democratizing this? Yeah, so the goal is that we keep increasing how much diseases we do cover. So currently we cover about uh, close to 10. So that has like cancer, like breast cancer, as well as uh, thoracic diseases, like uh, pneumonia, fibrosis, hernia. So we keep expanding how much we cover because data. So the more data we get, the more medical conditions we cover. And how do you get the data? Because that's always a big challenge, yeah. right? Good yeah. quality, large quantities. Mm -hmm. So we, we have found some hackish way to approach it, right? Which is that we work with uh, academia. We work at academia in Africa as well as beyond Africa. So by working with them, these guys have data that they use for research, but mostly what happens is after they do their research, publish their papers, just leave the data down. So if you can get them to give you the data, then you can turn it into tools that can be used to save lives. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And when did you start Mino Health? We officially start somewhere late last year, so we're quite still early on. Yes, yeah, yeah. gathering data. Yeah, but yeah. you say you're already diagnosing 10 diseases. Yes, we do have systems for them, and we are currently running trials with the National Catholic Health Service Ghana. Okay. So yeah, they, they are part of a Christian Health Association of Ghana, which has about 300 facilities, health facilities. So we run trials with them, and that's sort of like um, actually get the work done with them but at the same time it's also proof of concept for the rest of Africa because the goal again is to ensure that the average person no matter how poor they are can have quality health care the best diagnosis possible and that's great because you already have a distribution model almost in place because yes. if you if you join with them they'll exactly. be able to help you get around, around exactly the exactly why is healthcare such a challenge in Africa that's a very very complex uh, yeah. complex uh, topic it's well, an issue yes yes it's an issue because um, healthcare usually co it requires systems requires strong robust systems that exist and unfortunately Africa has weak system all across the board but in healthcare you can't afford to have weak systems and healthcare is quite expensive so certain nations like uh, the Denmark and then uh, the other ones, what they do to have free healthcare is that they tax people. But in Africa, most people don't have enough money for you to tax them to offer like quality free healthcare. So then you don't really have much room for any options. So that is why we even need this sort of technologies. Because if we could develop AI systems, which we have, and you get hospitals get to use them at an extremely affordable rate, then they could provide some of the best possible healthcare to the average person. Because this is the thing, let's not forget that these AI systems are performing as well as some of the best radiologists and at some point even better than radiologists. Globally, not just in Africa. And here's the case, in South Africa you have one radiologist for every 100,000 people. And in, and in Ghana you only have 35 radiologists. That's one for every 800,000 people. Wow. So how do you ever close that gap, if not with software that can be easily scaled around? Yeah. So that is why technologies like this are important. The only thing I'll add to that is that sometimes when you're an AI person, you sort of look at things like, okay, how do we use AI for this? But then if you do understand the African uh, system, you need more than AI. Even in general, you need more than AI. Like we do use data science because you need to build a strong ecosystem where you are collecting data and that data is then has some pipeline from the data collection right to AI systems. So we do do, like the long vision is that with the data analytics part, the data that is collected, you can be able to forecast certain things like uh, pandemics and epidemics. Because currently what we do is that the data 
can tell you what percentage of people in Cape Town have diabetes, what percentage has this. And so when there's any rapid switch in this sort of percentages, that can be alerted and say, okay, this looks like early signs of this pandemic. Check it out, pay attention to it. Because that's also one thing we have an issue with, communicable diseases in Africa. So yeah, we are targeting different problems with different technologies. We even use biotechnology at some point. We have a research lab that works on uh, biotechnology as well. So we need all these technologies, make them affordable so that people can have adequate health care because as a right, it's, it has nothing to do with money or anything of that sort. Yeah. It's so interesting. I, I recently read about the re um, Zika virus spread in South America and yeah. how a team went in with genetic um, genetic uh, sequences okay. that fit into the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. And so they would put the, the, um, the pieces, the splices mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. be able to send that, get it diagnosed and come back. Mm -hmm. And they actually restricted the, the spread of the okay. Zika virus in yes. that way because they were mm -hmm. able to give real data immediately and contain it. Yes. And, and that's what you're saying yes. is, is we have yes. that technology mm -hmm. and we can be saving mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that we have a really, really weak system when it comes to getting data. What you... We, uh, so the only thing is, the only thing we need to do is set up, that is why it is important that we have a system that uh, entices hospitals and physicians to use them. You don't have to go in there and then be told, that, okay, put in this data so that we can tell whether there's a pandemic. No, just use the system, do your everyday hospital stuff on the system. You have medical, patient medical records on it, do your everyday stuff. But behind the scene, the system is analyzing all that data that is collected every day. So in real time, you can be able to pick these things up. So the machines will actually be saying, this is what you need to be looking out for and exactly. give a warning to the physician. Exactly, because we don't have the manpower to say, okay, let's get some people go into this community, get uh, genomic data and then see what we can. We don't have the specialists. So unless we can find a way to use softwares to entice people, where they just use and we collect as much data in the background and then do things with that data, that's the best the best option we have as Africa. So Mino Health is keeping diagnosis costs really low so that that money can go into treatment. Basically, yes. yes. It's an amazing idea. And you will be speaking today, so yes. we're going to hear even more about it. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for spending this time with us and for coming all the way from Ghana. <laughs> is this the first time in South Africa? Yes, this is my first okay. time in South Africa. It's quite awesome. It looks really nice. Yeah. Like, really, really nice. Well, I hope you'll be coming back soon. Definitely. Definitely before next year. Because I think yeah. we need this. We need this in South Africa. <laughs> Just as much. Yes, yes. We really do. Yes, yes, that's true. That's we true. need it to spread through. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you. Have a good speech.